So I remember when I was in college and I imagined the life of a software engineer, I thought they were just coding like hackers 24 seven on the job. But even after watching countless day in the life videos, I still didn't really get a sense of what they did during their job. So I wanted to make another day in the life, but with all the real boring detail. I hope this doesn't put you to sleep, but I feel like it's good to get some perspective on what the job is actually like. So the beginning of the week, we usually start with a meeting to plan out the tasks for the week. Most of the planning done at software companies is actually done through this project management tool called Jira, where managers and developers can track and pick up items to work on. So this meeting kind of varies in length depending on what you need to do for the week and how much work there is. But basically we spend time at this meeting to size stories. Stories being just tasks and sizing, just meaning we as a team deciding how long each task will take. And this will determine what your work is for the week. After that meeting, you could be meeting with other engineers on your team just to discuss if you have any overlaps between your tickets and see if you'll be doing any duplicate work between the two of you. So that will usually be done over Slack or Zoom. This lighting is not good. So it's about 10 to 10.30ish. So this is when you can actually get started on some of the work you've been assigned for the week. So a lot of times these stories and tasks they're actually intentionally vague so that the developer can actually research them more. A good example would be a ticket that just says build out client with no other description really. So seeing a ticket like this kind of actually raises more questions than answers. So this is where the research and treasure scavenger hunt part of your job really starts. This is really where I start digging through my team's and other team's documentation for more knowledge, where I message people like project managers or to other developers to figure out what this ticket is actually about. I'll schedule meetings with people if I need more clarity, or I'll just go through Slack if I don't. If there's any dependencies owned by other teams, I'll reach out to them as well. And I'll ask other teams questions and schedule meetings accordingly if I need their help. Then I'll repeat this process over over and over and over again until I finally have a good fleshed out idea of what I'm supposed to do on a specific ticket. So it is 11, it's time for the stand-up. Oh, okay, that's a little bit better. So stand-ups are just a meeting between the whole team that happens once a day. So this usually takes about five to 20 minutes and the main purpose of this meeting is to give progress updates on what you've been doing for the day. It's also to check and see if anyone else on your team has any overlapping work. It's also so your boss can you know, see if you've been doing work at all for the day. So the process really varies across company. I've been at ones where they had stand-up every day and I've been at ones that had stand-ups three times a week. It varies a lot based on what company you join and what team you join. So around one, I'll go back to working on the tasks that I was looking at before the stand-up. Now, depending on the size of the ticket, you might have to write what's called a design document for your feature. It's basically just a document detailing all the different performance trade-offs and architecture trade-offs of your feature that you're creating for other people to see, either members of your own team or from people outside of your team. So I use this tool called Excaladraw if I need any architecture diagrams. And around 2 p.m. is when you finally get to start on the, like, the fun part of the job, the part that you learn about doing in college and everything. This is really what software engineers do best, which is build out code and test it and iterate on it. So with my ticket requirements and with my information from my design doc, I start writing out my code. So to give you a little bit of a background about what I do, I am a full stack web developer. So I work specifically on web applications. So what full stack really means is a combination of front end and back end. And if those don't make sense to you, I'll take a little bit to explain it right now. So the front end of a web application is basically everything a user sees, which is what they load into their browser and is usually written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The back end of an application can span a lot of different technologies and can really encompass a lot of things, but a way oversimplified version is it's basically just a server sitting somewhere hundreds of miles away that serves your front end different pieces of data. So much of my time will be spent researching how the best way to implement things are, going on Stack Overflow and looking up my questions, asking my coworkers if I'm running into something that they may have also run into in the past, trial and error. And then when I'm finally all done, I submit it for a peer review, which is basically a request to merge your code into the master branch of your project, which basically means it's done. So that's a pretty good summary of what an actual software engineer does on the job. And the schedule I gave today actually varies wildly based 
on the team or the day that you're working on. Sometimes all these meetings might actually be cut out and they'll want you working on features all day. There's also situations where bugs may come up in the production version of your application and your development team will be asked to drop everything and immediately start researching what's going on. But yeah, I hope you learned something and um, that's all for me.